Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a super important concept in Terraform, variables. If you ever wanted to make your Terraform scripts more dynamic and reusable, you're in the right place. So what exactly are variables in Terraform? Well, they allow us to accept external values, which means we can write more generic scripts. You can think of them like placeholders for information that might change. Terraform uses variable blocks to define these variables, and you can have multiple variable blocks in a single script. Each block represents a single variable. Let's check out the syntax. It's pretty straightforward. You start with the keyword variable, followed by the name of your variable. In this case, I'm going to name this variable as location. Remember, the name needs to be unique within your script. When you have a block of code followed by a name, it usually contains several attributes. The key one to pay attention to is the type attribute. This tells you the data type of the variable, like whether it's a string for text, a number, or something else. I'm going to specify string for this example. So when I save the code and run the Terraform plan command, it'll ask me to enter the name of the location. At this point, I can specify something like East US. But for now, let me exit out of this and go back to my code. Now, what if you don't provide a value or a variable? That's where default value comes in handy. You can set a default value that will be used if nothing is specified during execution. So I'm going to specify East US as the default value. I'll save the changes. Another great feature is the description attribute. It is always a good practice to include a description for each variable. This way, anyone reading your script will quickly understand what each variable is for. For example, I'll set the description of this variable to something like the Azure region where resources will be deployed. Now let's talk about validation. Starting with version 0.13 of Terraform, we've got a new attribute called validation. This is super useful because it ensures the values supplied to your variable meet certain criteria. Here's how you might set that up. For this example, I will add another variable named VM size, and it will have a type of string. This variable will be used to specify the size of the VM, but I'll also set a condition for it by using the validation block. So the condition is var dot VM size equals standard underscore DS1 underscore V2 or var dot VM size equals standard underscore DS2 underscore V2. So in this case, we are ensuring that the virtual machine size is either standard DS1 V2 or standard DS2 V2. It is also important that you set an error message just in case if the condition is not met. So you can see here the code error with the red line. Basically, it is trying to tell us that it should also have the error message attribute. So I'm going to type the error message and I will say VM size must be either standard underscore DS1 underscore V2 or standard underscore DS2 underscore V2. Just remember, error message should always start with a capital letter and end with a period or a question mark. Let me save the code and run it using the Terraform plan command. Now it will prompt me for the VM size I'll just go ahead and enter a wrong value like standard underscore BS1 underscore V1. And you can see it throws an error message. So basically it says that the VM size must be either standard DS1 V2 or standard DS2 V2. Let me run this again. And this time I'll specify the VM size as standard underscore DS1 underscore V2. And I'll press enter. And this time there is no error message. Let me go back to the code. Finally, in version 0.14, Terraform introduced the sensitive attribute. If you set this attribute to true, the variable's value won't be displayed in the Terraform CLI, which is great for security. Here's what that looks like. For example, I will add another variable called admin password, and it will have a type of string. This variable will be used to specify the administrator account password. I will also specify the description attribute which is the admin password for the Azure virtual machine. And I will add the sensitive attribute and I'm going to say true. When I save the changes and run the code with Terraform plan command, it'll prompt me to enter the admin password. 
But notice when I type it, the characters don't show up on the screen. That's because I've set the sensitive attribute as true. And that's a wrap on variables in Terraform. They are essential for creating flexible, secure, and understandable scripts. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Terraform tips and tricks. Drop your questions or thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and happy coding.